I want to do a review of this amazing machine, the Highland Park Ultrasonic, Ultrasonic Drill. I've been using it for a while and I have to tell you it's amazing. I may hold to these beach rocks, takes no time, I string them together. I have so many to drill, look. But this thing is so reliable. This, again, this thing is so reliable that I basically figured out um, you see that's the hole. So I basically figured out I could leave the stone drilling. I don't even have to look at it. For example, this stone, right? I use, sorry. This, this little stone, I just put it there, center it properly. You hear that noise? That's already drilling. I don't even have to be here. Go. Go, I have to put a little weight here on the back so it makes some pressure, right? So basically, the only thing I did is to this stick, you see? Just this stick with a little door, no door, it's just a hinge maybe from a door. From a door, it's not even attached, I just put it there, there's two, two round magnets, like these ones, that just kind of sticky there because it doesn't really move. So you see, it's, it's just bending on its own. I can be doing my own thing. I go outside doing my 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 drilling over here, my welding. And after a while, I come back and check if the hole is gone. More or less, I know, no? More or less the time because, well, I have a lot to drill, so I don't want to do it five, ten minutes without making a hole. So just running by itself, no? But look, this is drilling by itself. I don't have to do anything. Now, um, I did put this metal thing so it doesn't spill the water. As you see, it hit the rock and it jumps over. But that basically solved my problem because before it used to spill here, I haven't spilled water there in months. Uh, so so basically, it's amazing. I recommend you buy this machine. It's amazing. Now, the only thing I really encountered problem myself. Okay, you see, uh, the only encountered problem myself is that already made a hole. That's what makes it noise. was making noise because it was already hitting the wood. Uh, here I have another, right? So I just put it here, center it, leave it there on its own. The weight is here, it's really on its own. I put it like at 50, the, what is at 60, something like this. At the beginning, I do, I do tell you, at the beginning, I thought this was not working. But you know what's the problem when you weld the tubes? Uh, if you hit them too much, they break. So, so it was making this crazy squeaking and don't, it was just not drilling. Um, I really thought it was broken, but I just took the tip like five times and then had to weld them properly. Uh, you see, here I have, and for me it's still the problem, I'm not the best because you don't change them all the time, so so if it's squeaking it's because it didn't drill uh, well properly, so you just grab another and put it there, and I mean, and, and these things are long, you can, you see, you can perforate I think almost inch and a half. Compared to these ones that I bought on eBay, they are so short. And when they arrive, I think I'm gonna just give them back. Um, 
Yeah, they were cheaper, but they give you half the size, so it's basically the same price. So, well, I hope you like my review. If you have doubts about this machine, you see, look, it's growing on its own. Uh, it's working amazing. You take your time to learn how to weld the tips onto the form. I use the super easy salt, salt the silver solder. Uh, but you can. Uh, I tried the uh, harder ones and it seems to be too much heat and it cracked the tube. So that so far been the best for me. I did not buy the one they sell in Highland Park. It was a little too pricey for me, but you can try. Um, and this is it. So that's drilling. I, I did make a hole on the table so I don't have to worry about the water, right? The bucket is just going down there. Oh, I, I could show you. You see, that's my pump and that's my little bucket. Uh, it's just, I just, I just put a little water if I see it's running low. It's not, the pump is not all the way down. It's like two inch below the bottom. Because if it's too low, it starts catching the, 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 the course, the rock course. And uh, they clog the pump. So, so, you know, I have a solution for that. I just have not implemented. I'm gonna put the strain it right there. So when the, the piece makes the hole, the strain it, the strainer catch the hole. Um, let me see. I mean, I had it in the morning. So basically I need to go the plums plumbing store I'm gonna I'm gonna put it in a two inch pipe because it's it's a bigger strain and it's like a metal strainer. I'm gonna put it on a two inch pipe that is gonna attach to the wood below to the cap and that black poly tube is just gonna go get inside so it's easy to to open it but I won't have to open it because it won't be clogging right so I, I won't have a need to be opening but I could, you see, it? now it drilled the hole, so now, now it's ready, right? right there, that's the drill hole, you see, I could leave it there in the wood and it doesn't do anything, I want to show you how this, this wood, so, because it's only really useful, you see, it's just a hinge with two magnets, I don't even think you need it, but at the time I thought that this was going to vibrate and fall and I put it, but I don't really do it, you can just put it there. That will be good enough. So it's good this high like this because if it's too low, it tends to the water eventually comes out. So it's better to be higher. Um, I have so many rocks, so I just leave them there. I pay for it like a hundred while I'm doing other things, it's just making holes on its own. Every time I come and grab something, I change the stone. There you have it. Five dollar every stone in town. So, that, so, so it's on its own making holes. See? Don't worry about it. And there's not much more I can tell you because it just works. So beside my hack if that was to this wood arm. And it would be nice to implement it a little better, right? but so far it's working. It's long to put the counterweight here. I didn't do anything. Oh, the back, you see? It's just going out in the back, straight down with the tube onto the thing. Though, though, the, the only thing is that, that sometimes it catches the course and it stops the pump, stop running i just i just don't know what i did to the strainer i wanted to show it to you but who knows um before i used to use this type of drilling right i used to drill with this diamond core it's so expensive and you need to be holding it uh, so now it's just making holes in, on its own 
Ah, 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 yeah, yeah, that's the thing. So, so, it's just pumping water on its own, and if it gets clogged, clogged, and it's not pumping the water anymore, I have my compressor here, I just press this, put it, turn it up, put it, press two, three times, and it basically clear it. And it really doesn't happen often, like, maybe once a week, after, under the stones it start getting little cords. The little ones are that clogged, right? The small stones like like this. Side. So so if that start happening well I have to just put all the all the grid onto a strainer. And now I don't ah that's the other thing. I don't use a lot of grid. I use one spoon. Two spoon maybe. Uh, I guess maybe like two spoons is, is the, the grid I use. Like two spoons. Maybe maybe one was too short because there was already there when I put it. And but basically it's like one spoon running and you just get there. But you don't even need to you don't even need to push it because the same water you just kind of pull it on its own. So look, if you put three spoons of grit, you don't even have to worry because this is not great to keep the machine running and and that's it. Look. I collect all these stones. Let me see what else I can show you. I mean, there's no more to show. This really works. Oh, you, you heard that's, that it's catching the, the course. But you just kick it out. You don't, you didn't, you didn't pull it to the pipe. It's not good, probably, because it's damaging the, the pump blades. So I really want to implement to put the strainer before the water recycles. Well, I guess I have to go buy another another strainer. I like it that one because it was made of all the strainers I found in the market. They were plastic and this was metal mesh. Okay, my friends, I hope you, if you were on the side, if you want to buy this machine, I tell you it's amazing.